welcome for another Tune for Media lesson. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to make your Logic Virtual Amp sound absolutely incredible. So let's dive in. I have here a pre-recorded, untouched guitar parts, recorded them directly through my sound interface. So this is how it sounds. Pretty cool. So the first trick that I'm going to use is I'm going to take out the output of this track called pre and instead of sending an output, I'm just going to send this track to two different buses. So bus one and bus two. I'm going to put zero dB. So now I'm sending my signal to two different buses and I can also select them and do control T and then they appear here in my arrangement. And this is good because if you want to save a preset, you can actually combine them together to a preset. Uh, so let's just call this one Amp 1, and this will be Amp 2. And then I'm going to select all of them and do Command-Shift-D to create a summing stack. And I can call this one Guitar. So now I have something interesting. I have the pre which is my recorded signal or the track that I'm recording into, send it to amp one and amp two, and then I'm sending amp one and amp two to this track stack. So my idea is that my pre-track will be my dry signal. So I can put some uh, compressors, distortions, some things that shape the sound before it gets to the, to the amp. And then I have the amps going to the track stack and then my track stack is my kind of a mix track so here i'm putting like my studio stuff like compressors eqs and all this stuff to mix the guitar into the song uh, and of course i can send it to delays uh, i can also put like a nice room reverb uh, but that's the basic principle so this trick is already giving you a lot more possibilities for sound than just putting an amp designer on your track. Uh, so I'm just gonna solo this one. I'm gonna start by adding a compressor to my pre-track just to push up the signal a little bit. So pretty fast and easy and automatic compression just to push the volume a little bit upward and push the signal. And let's just select an amp. So from the amp designer, I'm going to amp one. And let's just take the large black face combo. We all know what kind of amp this one. And I'm going to select also uh, the ribbon 121. And we all know what kind of microphone this is. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to shape my amp. All right, I like it. So now I can think of it as, as like putting a two microphones setup on my amp. So I can basically copy amp one to amp two and just change the microphone and maybe the placement like to maybe a darker tone so sm57 style microphone around here i can also check the phase so sometimes i like to check the phase on one speaker like panning them both to the left bringing on gain for one of them so i can flip the phase <laughs> You can definitely tell that when I'm flipping the phase, I can hear the differences between them uh, because most of it just cancel out. So of course, the phase is right. And now when I'm, panning, when I'm hard panning them like that, you'll immediately notice that the sound is kind of wider and more balanced and has a little more presence and focus.
So this is already sounds just awesome because it's basically the same amp with two microphones, uh, hard pan. So they have subtle differences and these very small differences make the guitar sound wider and bigger in the stereo range. So another thing that I can do is to actually change the cabinet. So maybe I want 12 inches cabinet in one side. It's also a good idea to create a more stereo effect, but the more you change, the less focused your sound will be. Uh, so you can create very interesting tones, but it's good to make sure that you don't drastically change the tone because then it will sound like kind of two different amps. Uh, and this is a whole different effect. So check this out. So 12 inches here kind of give some more excitement. Uh, I might go for a more brighter tone and the more you get closer to the center of the cone, basically just a little brighter. I'm gonna drop down the volume a little bit. So in the master, I'm just gonna put some compressor and this is more for the mix aspect uh, but I'm just gonna put it to make a more balanced all right sounds great now let's talk about drive so most Logic users will go directly uh, to the pedal board, uh, which is great because some of the pedals there are pretty awesome uh, and they have this kind of cool mojo. But honestly, my go-to is actually the clip distortion over here. Let's just move to the next recording. So let's add my go-to distortion, uh, which is in distortion, clip distortion. I'm just gonna play with it. So start with 100 and start with without any filters uh, like that. And let's start with 10 dB of distortion. And to make a darker distortion in this case, I'm just gonna move my filter more to around 900 Hertz. And I'm just gonna take off a little bit from the highs. Can put some high shelf. And you can play with the symmetry here and you get some interesting results. I kind of like this tone. Uh, and let's go for a lead tone. So let's go here, there's like a chunk of solo. Here's another approach to add distortion. So I can go to amp one Let's just solo it and let's just bring it back to the middle. And before the amp, I'm just going to select distortion and distortion one. I kind of like this distortion and I'm going to drive it pretty hard. I'm going to copy that distortion to amp two, and I'm going to just slightly change the tone uh, so it will have a more stereo distortion effect. And 
And of course, I can send another bus for my uh, master track here. Uh, so let's just send a new bus. And this is called delay. Let's just add tape delay, which is pretty great. Let's just remove the tempo sync. Bring this up. <laughs> And just for fun, let's just add the clip distortion as well and see what we have. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned some new things, some new tricks. And I invite you to share your knowledge in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more. And see you next time. Stay tuned.